How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another tips and tricks video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to create melodies from vocals, and in this case just a certain segment of vocals. Uh, and this is what it sounds like. Come on! So a very small piece, uh, a clip from a larger piece that is found in uh, the loop library. Uh, this is Carla Improv 20. If you want to use it, I, I don't care. This is just an example. So if we press Escape 5, make sure we get out the cutting tool. What I'm going to be doing is cutting this piece into half measure increments. All right. Now, what these increments are going to do is, in each increment, I want them to be pitched a different way. I want them to be, I want them to be able to be pitched differently, separate from each other. That's why I cut them. So now if we group these together, we can double click. Nope, just kidding right click, nope, right click, and go to convert to new sampler track. It's going to do some thinking. Oh wait, we have to collect or we have to select regions because we cut them up into separate regions, right? That's what we want to do. You can also do transients if you are working with, I don't know, a drum track, a guitar track, something with very noticeable transients. You can tr select that as well, but whatever. We just already created regions, so let's call it Carla Melodies. All right, okay. It's going to do some thinking, like I said, and create this MIDI track. And our old one is muted. Let's see what it sounds like. Come on! The exact same thing, which is what we expected, right? Exactly. Now, if we go to our ESX24 and we go to the edit screen, we can see that each of these samples, the ones that we cut uh, earlier, are going to be mapped to different keys of the keyboard. Come on! All right. Uh, but that's no fun. We want to create pitches out of these. We want to be able to play around with the pitch, the time, all this stuff. And if they're just on a single note, that's no fun. So we need to create it, or we need to make it so that they are being able to pitch, to be pitched. All right, so, no, I don't want to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spread them out across the MIDI keyboard like so. Across each octave, and then I want to drag them out to the the length of the octave. Right now, if we play the bottom note, very sweet. But I want the root note to be right in the middle, so we can pitch down as well. And also, another problem is that these notes that we moved up, they just keep going up. So we need to set the root for each one, and we can do that here in the pitch section and the key. And the one right in the middle I would say is F, so I'm going to do F, negative 2, and then I'm just going to go up by octave F for each one. So F0, F1, F2, F3. All right. Now that we're done with that, we can exit out, make sure to save, and then exit out the ESX24. Now, if we go in and play our MIDI track again, it's going to sound like this, come, 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 come. which is not the original, and which should be expected, right? Because we just did this. So I'm going to turn off the volume and make sure to get all of these on the, their normal root notes, which is, like I said, and like I did, put it on F for each octave. So uh, I guess you can watch me do this. How's your day been? <laughs> That's great to hear. That's awesome. My day's been really busy. Actually, my life's been really busy. All right, and we're done, and we're back. So, this should be our normal, our our normal uh, audio file from the beginning. If I turn on the volume, come on. Which it is. Which is exactly what we expected. Again, we're expecting all these things, and it's working out perfectly. <laughs> what can I say? Now, with these MIDI notes, we can pitch them up and down. I don't know, we'll cut this in half. I don't know. Let's just see what this sounds like. Come on. Alright, so you can start to see that we can use these MIDI notes to create a melody from them and out of them, which is very cool. So uh, if you want to add some reverb and delay, you can add them via buses if you'd like. I already have a reverb bus. Turn that up a bit. I already have a delay bus. Turn that up a bit. Turn the reverb up a little bit more. Come on! All right, so now that we have that figured out, we can go and create some stuff with it, some awesome stuff. 
Now I'm going to mute these originals, unmute the ones that I have made already, and show you uh, just a sample of what you can do. If I don't loop it. All right, so you can start playing with the samples and do whatever you want with it, and then you can see that you can create a melody out of those samples. Awesome, tight, you know what I'm saying? All right, and that's really all I had to show you today. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you can use this. Uh, you can definitely tell that there's some trance elements in here if you put a lot of reverb on it. Uh, you, you, a, lot, a lot of times in trance music, there's like that repeating vocal line that's pitched different ways. Um, so there you go. That's how you do it. Winning. Winning. Um, so, yeah, comment, rate, subscribe like a freaking best, and I'll be seeing you all very soon. Peace out.